Everybody sit. Everybody shut up. Everybody settle down. Everybody listen up. Everybody had a hard year. Everybody let their hair down. Everybody put their socks up. Everybody put their foot down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You hear that noise? Get used to that. That's the sounds of the, of the Maras trying to rebuild this, this pathetic organization that seems to be going to shit. So get used to the hammering and the nailing and the banging, okay? Uh, today, uh, as you know, will be the first game since 2004. 210 games that Eli will not be behind center for the New York Giants. Uh, it's going to be an emotional day. Uh, it's going to feel a little different out there in many, many ways. 2004 seems so long ago. Back then, my nickname was the Blumpkin Master. Yeah, the Blumpkin Master. But uh, that's, that's neither here nor there. Where's Gino? Gino? Gino, here's the deal. We all know how it went when you played with the Jets, okay? Uh, let's just say it wasn't on the level of Tom Brady. Uh, it wasn't even on the level of Marsha Brady, okay? You've had 30 career starts, but only one in the last three years. So uh, you must be very, very good. Look, just hang in there and give me 100%, okay? I don't expect you to light the house on fire, but if you suck and play like a one-eyed yogurt slinger, I'll be very, very pissed. Now, Jenkins has been placed on injured reserve for this game. I believe he was diagnosed with a uh, perforated O-ring. We did not need this. Not now. He's been playing great. Now, another important piece to the defensive puzzle is out. Secondary. You better not use this as an excuse. I want to see tight coverage and good, crisp tackling. Don't fuck with me, or I will give all you jerk-offs Arabian goggles. Got it? We have six linebackers on injured reserve. Six! the fuck? What the fuck? Do we draft our linebackers from Pussy University? What the fuck? <sighs> my mother-in-law went to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code, capital B-I-C, and bet the over 41. I asked her why, and she said, hey, gooly breath, uh, the Raiders have it to win. The, the Giants have a nothing to lose. Uh, Gino is a more mobile than a Eli. Eh? Uh, they will go for on uh, fourth downs when they usually don't because they suck a farts uh, and they will take it a chance. Uh, why not? I almost took it the nine points, but then I remember to take my medication and I come to my senses. So there you have it. My mother-in-law is 19 and 7 betting with my bookie, okay? Take the over if you want. If you don't want that, then take the under. I don't give a shit. Take the sideways. Take the points and give the points and suck my points and shove points up your ass and do whatever the fuck you want with the points. The Raiders are a pretty good team. They are still in the thick of the AFC wildcard race. That said... They are completely beatable, okay? On the other hand, we are capable of losing to the nuns of St. Trinians. So what the fuck does any of this mean? You know, I remember what my high school mentor, Coach Pentangeli, used to say to the team during tough times. He would say, look! The NFL guys, 
They promised me a deal. So I made up a lot of stuff about the West Coast offense because that's what they wanted. But it was all lies. All of it. Everything. And I kept saying, the quarterback does this, and the quarterback does that. So I said, yeah, sure. Okay. You're two and nine. You know, if this was a 162-game season, I wouldn't have a problem. But there aren't 162 games in football. There's only 16, and we only have five left, okay? And if, if, by some miracle of miracles, if some wonders of wonders, we won the last five, we would finish... Seven and nine, which is like a tie. And a tie is like kissing your sister. But a tie would be eight and eight. So we are worse than kissing your sister. Seven and nine. Seven and nine would be like humping the family parakeet. I hope I made myself clear. Go eat. Go stretch. Go give each other Cleveland steamers. I don't care what the fuck you idiots do. Just give me 100%. Just give me 100% on that field no matter what. I can take a loss. I'm a big boy. What I can't take is anyone who gives up. Eli, listen, you're a tough mug, and you gave us everything you had for 14 years. 14 years. Thank you. Seriously. The rest of you crotch-sniffing mongoloids, get the fuck out of my face. Just fucking win. Go Big Blue. Come here, Eli. Eli, come here. Give me a hug, buddy. Love you, man.